I've always been a very passionate person and really do follow my dreams. And that's what led me to become the first female Indian barrister in Liverpool. 20 years ago, the bar was a male-dominated profession, but I saw that change into something that's much more about equality, a better place. As I watched the bar change, I too was changing. There was an idea that would keep me awake at night, and three years ago, I gave up my life as a barrister for the kitchen. I come from generations of very passionate cooks. So let's just get the datas chopped and put into this bowl. Lots of family recipes were passed down to me, and what I realised very quickly is that these recipes, this way of cooking, is dying out in Britain with the first generation of immigrants. And when they go, they will take these heirlooms with them. I was writing down a recipe with my mum on the phone. Do, do, do you ever use mithi in, in these chutneys? Mithi? Yeah. And this formula came to me that all curries are based on three spices, two of which never change, turmeric and chilli, mother and father of all curry. And depending on what ingredient you're cooking with, that third spice changed. And it was such a moment of simplicity and revelation, I just wanted to tell the world. What was your favourite recipe, Ma, then, that they passed down to you? Chochuri, yes. So chochuri is this vegetable curry... Mixed vegetable. Mixed vegetable curry. When I told the family that I'd made this decision to open a restaurant, honestly, they were devastated. To the point where my Indian relatives still can't call it a restaurant, they call it a hotel. <laughs> they ring up and say, how is your hotel? Because in their mind, I was bonkers. I was giving up this really prestigious, secure career. For what? So look, this is Varanasi. That's a temple. Mm. I know. That is Bhakku's house. When he, she gave up the, being a barrister, we were pretty upset. We had nobody, we had nobody businessman in our family or in our father's family, so naturally I was very worried. There was no initial funding for Mowgli. What I had to do was put my entire life on the line. Everything went into building that first building. It was stepping out of all my security into complete risk. It's crazy, isn't it? This is now um, one of five restaurants that I've opened. I'm building my sixth now in Nottingham. This is my first Mowgli tree, and it means the world to me because it kind of represents the garden, you know, in Varanasi that was my grandmother's garden that I based the whole of the design of Mowgli around. Dal is what you feed the people you love the most. They are the infants and the elderly, for people who've got no teeth. This is the ultimate comfort food. It's the easiest food to digest, and so, this will be my earliest memory of food, is my mother's temple dal. What really drives me is that I want to pass on my recipes, not just to my own children, but to my fellow Brits. Honestly, Britain needs to know how to cook really good curry. I was reading an article yesterday about cumin, and they were describing the smell of it as, as that of human sweat. Oh, lovely. I thought, <laughs> I thought that really sells it, doesn't it? One of the ways that I kind of spread this curry knowledge is by employing curry virgins in Mergley. I only take chefs that can't cook curry. It's amazing, isn't it? The spices kind of speak yeah. to you, they tell you when they're done, and it's just yeah. listening out and smelling them. So Dion is a, is a real curry virgin. You'd never cooked a curry no. before, had you? No, in my interview, when I done my interview for Mergley, the first thing I said was, I've never cooked a curry before. So you cook now like an 80-year-old, you know, <laughs> Indian chef, which is a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't start out with a mission to get women into kitchens, but it has become very much an incidental passion of mine. I think the restaurant industry is where the law was about 20 years ago. We need more chefs like Dion. Yeah, definitely. You're going to be a head chef for me one day, aren't you? <laughs> I most certainly am. <laughs> That's me. Yeah. And that is the question is whether do we get, you know, do we get paper stores? Do we do paper stores? My story, stores? I think, has inspired quite a few people that I know to take the plunge and try that other career that they didn't think they had in them. And it really heartens me because that can be the case for anyone.